Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So recently DJI launched the firmware version 01030000 for the DJI Mini 2. Now, straight off the bat, I had a bit of an issue updating my firmware on this drone. Not to mention, similarly, those of you, including myself, that did eventually manage to upgrade their firmware using this method I'm going to show you in this video, too many of you have reported that they have some connection issues with this latest firmware um, on the DJI Mini 2 and you're not quite getting the range that you was used to and sometimes getting a lot more lag, a lot more latency and a lot more disconnections. So this video is going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to show you how to upgrade your firmware if your DJI Mini 2 is showing a not available against the firmware version. It's also going to show you how to possibly roll back your firmware if you are not happy with the current firmware version and you want to roll it back to an earlier version. So let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hack DJI Assistant to make sure that you can access the firmware upgrades for this DJI Mini 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my PC screen now and then we can go through the entire process. Bearing in mind, I'm going to screen record my screen. So yeah, if you just bear with me and I'll guide you through all of the steps and I'll try and make this video as short as possible. Right, so just to let you know, this tutorial is for Windows. Obviously this may work on a Mac, but this is Windows primarily only because that's what I use. I don't have any sort of Apple devices to be able to show you on in terms of MacBook. So hopefully someone can come along and figure that one out. But this is how we're going to do it on a PC. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our web browser. And we're going to very simply search for DJI Assistant 2. There you go, it's come up as a suggestion. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the top suggestion, DJI Assistant 2, Download Center. And this is very, very an important step. Okay, what we need to do is we need to scroll down the page, all right, and then the one we're going to be using to do this basically hack is the DJI Assistant 2 for the Consumer Drone series, all right, but like I said, we do need to hack it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that, and then what I want to show you guys very quickly, hopefully it is quickly, is this PDF file for the DJI Assistant 2. So as you can see on screen, we've got support the update for the new FlySafe database update for the Air 2S. And then if we scroll down further, again, we've got DJI Air 2S. We've got add support for firmware update. We've got the FlySafe database update, um, add support for log support, calibration, simulator, etc. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see that if we go to the Mavic Mini, look, just here, we've got add support for the firmware update, same again. But if we scroll back up to the DJI Mini 2, for some reason, we only have support for log export to be able to send any sort of their problem logs for DJI to check out themselves. We don't actually have the ability on this drone for some bizarre reason to actually uh, do anything with this drone to adjust the firmware either forwards or backwards all right so we are relying on dji but in this video like i said i'm going to show you exactly how to get around that so like i said i'll make this as quick as possible so let's close that down and then what we're going to do is we're going to click the executable file for windows so let's go ahead and do that now as you can see that's downloading so we'll skip to the end right so we're going to go ahead and click yes And let's just accept the agreement. I don't think anybody ever reads them. So, yep, yeah, that's all absolutely fine. We'll just put it where it wants it to go. Create a desktop icon, yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and install. And then I'll just quickly cut to the end. So now that's installed, we're going to go ahead and click Finish. And everything I'm doing on this video, we have to do in a specific order to get it all to work, okay? So just be mindful of that. So what we're going to do is, there we go, we've got the Assistant 2, which is opened up automatically. So now what we need to do, okay, is we need to plug this into our drone, okay? So we're going to take our DJI Mini 2 and we're going to plug that in, okay? So let's quickly click the uh, Agree and get that over and done with. We don't want to consider that. Right, so now, now this is quite important, okay? So what we need to do is we need to turn the drone on and then pretty much very shortly after, you need to plug the USB into your PC, okay? Just after it makes the beep when it comes on, we'll plug it straight in. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And we'll get ready to plug it in. There we go. So now we've plugged in. Then what should start to happen is that should just flash yellow, which it is. 
And now, as you can see on screen, we have got that DJI Mini 2 connected. So let's go ahead and click that, all right? Now, this is the thing. If you look at our screen at the moment, all you can see is log export. There is no option to click the firmware option, okay? Now, this is where we're going to implement the fix. So what we're going to do is we are going to press back, all right? And then we're just going to turn our DJI Mini 2 off. There you go. And the computer has said that it's off. And we're going to remove the USB cable. So we're going to shut down DJI Assistant then, and we're going to quit now. So let's close that back down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our file browser, and then Windows, and then Program Files, x86, and then DJI Product, and DJI Assistant 2. Hopefully you're getting this all on screen. We now need to click DJI Engine, okay? And then we need to go down to this one here, which says Default Settings, all right? Now this is going to open up a Word file, all right, uh, that we need to modify. So follow my instructions quite closely. So we'll open that up, all right? Now, as you can see, this is a Word file. Now, we're going to probably get a prompt to say that we're not allowed to do this, but I just want to show you the full process, so I'm going to allow that prompt to happen. Now, what we need to do is we need to change this zero to a one. So let's quickly change that to a one, and then what we need to do is go to file and then save, okay? Just save there as it is. Do you want to already replace it? Yes, we do. And then clearly we're going to get this menu. That was part of my plan because I wanted to show you everything. All right, so what we're gonna do is click OK and then come back out of there and let's click Don't Save. And then what we need to do is we're gonna right click on the option, click Properties, Security, Edit, and then we're just going to click Allow on All. Now click Apply, click OK, click OK again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open this back up again. And now we're going to pop that on number one. And then click save. And then we're going to close that and that's now all saved. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the DJI Assistant again. Okay. And hopefully that should now give us that firmware setting. So let's go ahead and click the DJI Assistant 2 then. Yes, we want to open it. You know how funny these things can be. So as you can see on screen, we're back in a position where, you're, where we are waiting for a connection for the DJI Mini 2. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to press the Mini 2 on. When we hear the sound, there we go. We're going to plug in our USB. That should start to go yellow. And now that's gone yellow. And as you can see on the DJI Assistant, we now have that Mini 2 again. However, this time, if we click it and open it, you can see we have got the option for the firmware updates. Okay, so we're going to confirm that little warning. I'm going to click firmware update. All right, so it's just going to do a little scan, which will be checking from the interwebs. And hopefully in a second, we should get a list of firmware updates. And there we go. They are all the firmware updates for the DJI Mini 2. So as you can see, the latest one there, which was launched on the 16th of June this year, um, is version 01030000. And then all you need to do is you can refresh that firmware using this option, as you can see on screen. Or what we can do is we can actually downgrade, as you can see on screen, to the older version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a full demonstration and show you exactly how to do that and to show you that it works, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that downgrade function now. As you can see, computer, make sure your computer is connected to the internet, the DJI device is powered on, and USB connection remains stable. This is vitally important. Do not switch anything off at this point because that's when you're going to run into problems. And a little disclaimer, this is done entirely on your head, okay? Nothing to do with me. I'm showing you how to do it. Um, I would not be held responsible if anything goes wrong, but I'm going to show you how it's going to work for me. So let's go ahead and click Start Update. And as you can see, we are downloading version 01020300, which of course was the older version on this drone. And then what I'll do is, like I said, I'll get the drone, I'll plug it into the controller, I'll open up the DJI Fly app and you'll be able to see the firmware version. And then hopefully, you know, you guys, I'm not going to do it because I just get accused of uh, from another YouTuber. If you've seen that video, hi, if you're watching, you usually do. Um, of possibly uh, 
when I suggested that the DJI Mavic Mini had a slightly better uh, connection at the moment. Um, I got basically accused of making it up for views and uh, covering the uh, antennas on the DJI Mini 2. Not entirely sure why I'd have any motive to do that. But anyway, um, this is how you roll back the firmware. Right, so we're on 99%. That's uh, done it quite quickly. Um, well, just hopefully that'll tick over to the 100 in a few seconds. Right, so as you can see on screen, the basically the DJI Assistant very simply just turned off, went to 100%, and then the drone disconnected because of course we have now got a power off. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just pull this connection here. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the drone on. Let's just lay that flat on the table. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the controller on. Many of you are going to complain that I didn't turn the controller on first. Sorry. So as you can see on the screen, we've now got the DJI Mini 2 connected. And all I've done is turn it on um, after that firmware downgrade. Okay, what we need to do is now is click Go Fly. Completely ignore that. All right, and then what I will do is go into my menu and click About. And as you can see, aircraft firmware 01020300. So that has successfully downgraded the aircraft firmware from the one which you would obviously lose smart controller uh, support. But what seems to be the possible culprit as to many people receiving a poorer signal. So guys, I'm just going to put my equipment down there. Like I said, this is how you do that both if you have a aircraft firmware not showing available on the uh, DJI Fly app. So this is how you do a manual upgrade if you need to. This is how you hack the DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones to enable you to actually allow you to perform that upgrade. And if you are having any problems with a latest firmware update, this video shows you how to downgrade the firmware back to the version with which you was working fine. So hopefully you found this video incredibly useful. Um, I really, really appreciate the uh, thumbs up if you did find it useful. Please pass this on to absolutely everybody that might possibly have issues or want to be able to roll back their latest firmware on their drone. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and hit that bell notification to be alerted first when I do post. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.